Okay, long time no see you guys. I have been a little bit MIA for multiple reasons that I just don't think we need to get into at the moment. It's nothing crazy. Like my life really hasn't been that interesting. It's just been work, 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 moving offices, you know, overwhelmed, a little bit of depression, you know, the usual things. I am back. You know what? I really don't do well in the summertime. I feel like I have the reverse of seasonal depression. Everyone is thriving in the summer, do it being their best selves. And I'm like, can it just be fall? Can I please wear my coat? So I feel like I'm finally getting my personality back. Also summer fashion for me, it's not the funnest thing, but fall is another story. I have a Zara haul um, coming today. That is what you're watching. And then there's also an Aritzia Amazon dish revolve haul that should be coming next. So there's a lot of stuff. All of these pieces are like staples for your wardrobe, like kind of like capsule collection pieces, pieces that are really going to allow you to style and create as many outfits as possible this coming season. I feel like I'm gravitating less towards trendy pieces, well I have been for a while now, and more so towards pieces that I just feel my best in, that I could wear a bunch of different ways, and I find really flat on my body. I feel like that is something that I really had to learn growing up. You guys, I just turned 26 and I'm not doing well with it. Anyways, in this haul, like I said, we have Zara, we have a lot of pre-fall, we have a lot of fall basics, boots, accessories, we have a lot of fun stuff going on. So if you wanna see what I picked up from Zara for fall, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some dresses that I picked up. They're not that fall-y, if I'm being honest, but I still wanted to include them in this video because they're so good you guys know my philosophy whenever i see a dress that i like that i love that i feel good in i always pick it up because i never know when i'm going to have an event i had about 500 engagement parties and weddings this summer and i never had that feeling of like oh my god what am i going to wear because whenever i see a dress that i really love i always pick it up even if i don't have a specific event in mind now i don't do that for like expensive dresses first one i picked up this is like the opposite of fall but it is so good it is a floral pattern obviously it has this frill detail going across the top and down the side it has a slit in the leg and it is just the most perfect dress for a wedding for a spring and summer wedding for an engagement party it's great and i also saw online that they have it in different colors if this floral print isn't for you i'm actually not the biggest floral or print person all the time but I feel like this one is so nice and looks so luxurious. You can't tell me this isn't the most beautiful floral dress ever. You can either put these straps on your shoulder or off. Like this is perfect for a summer or spring wedding. But of course, I have to buy it in fall. The next dress I wanna show you, I actually got it in two colors and this has to be the most flattering dress I have put on my body in the longest times. And not to mention they were $39 Canadian, so they were so affordable. I wore this one to an engagement party a few weeks ago and I felt so good in it. So it's a really stretchy material, but the way that it is cut, like, come on, you can't tell me that that doesn't look like it's gonna be the most flattering dress ever. And then it goes out, so it's gonna give you that really nice hourglass shape. And then it goes to around a midi length, kind of ankle length on me. So I got it in this blue color, which gives denim. Denim is so in right now. So when I wore this a few weeks ago, I paired it with white accessories because it was hot and summer, but you can totally pair this with brown to bring it into the fall season. You can see here, I paired it with some brown heels. And I think a brown jacket looks perfect on top of this. Honestly, denim and brown has to be my favorite combo ever. And then I also got it in this like stone beige color, which I haven't had a place to wear it, but it is also really nice. I got this one in a size medium. I got this one in a size small because I wanted this one for more like a casual slides dress. And you can also throw on like a little cardigan on top of these. Um, a little jacket and wear them in like September, October, depending on where you live. All right, so this is the dress on its own. You can see just how flattering all of these like ruching details are. Because the material is very stretchy, you could totally casualize it. 
I paired this dress with a darker wash denim jacket for the fall time. I love the way that the denim complements the beigey grayy color and it's also great that it's cropped because it's not going to be awkward and cut you off. It's still going to meet you at your waist which is going to make your legs look so much longer and just be so much more flattering. This next dress is a little bit on the funkier side but I've been loving these darker tie-dye kind of tones. I feel like I was really traumatized by tie-dye in the pandemic, not gonna lie. Really beautiful rusty fall tones and again this is so flattering recently i don't know what changed but zara has really been upping the cut of their dresses and they've just been so flattering i'm actually planning on doing a whole video on this um but one of the ways that i really love turning your summer outfits into more fall appropriate outfits is by taking summer classic summer silhouettes like dresses like this and wearing them in fall tones but like i said this is a perfect dress to wear when it's warm outside but you still want to feel very fall because look at the colors you can either pair it with a pair of mules or heels or even flats but i saw it styled with a pair of like knee-high boots and i absolutely loved it the color is never captured on camera so i hesitate even showing them because they look like the color looks disgusting but i promise they're like they match the dress perfectly this is definitely a look not for everyone but i'll show you guys the shoes i would actually wear with it so i personally would wear some brown suede mules i feel like they complement the dress absolutely perfectly next piece is this cardigan what i love specifically about this i have a few cardigans from zara and typically they're more so in that like cashmere material whereas this is in a true knit a chunkier knit and then it has all these little details so it has this chunkier knit on the shoulder and then a chunkier knit going down the back in my opinion you can never have enough cardigan another one of my favorite ways to wear these chunky oversized cardigans is to tuck them just the front into a pair of jeans jeans or um, pants these are from Aritzia they're the utility pants and what's great about this one is that there is actually a little slit on the side so it allows you to tuck just the front super easily and I feel like you can never go wrong with a simple white t-shirt under the cardigan tucked into a pair of jeans um, I just did a half tuck but you can fully tuck the front if you wanted to I feel like this is very Sophia Richie perfect for fall sticking with knit sweaters I picked up this one because it really gave me Totem, I think that's the brand that this looks like. Five, where it has the contrast stitching. They have that jacket that has the scarf built in, which I saw Abercrombie actually has one like that. Not with the contrast stitching, but with the scarf built in. And then it also has the contrast stitching on the pockets and along the bottom. I pictured this honestly with a pair of like leather pants, sleek leather pants. You throw this on top, oversized, and then with a pair of like sexy black boots or sexy black heels. This is, I think, actually navy, but it's such a dark navy that I can't tell if it's navy or black. But I think I remember it being called navy on the website now that I put it on and put it next to black. Um, but you can't even really tell. Now, these are old leather pants from Zara. What I envisioned was the leather pants going literally down to the floor. Um, so not as much cropped like this, but I just feel like this is such a chic comfy outfit to throw on for dinner you can even throw on some ballet flats if you want to be extra comfy i absolutely do not need another pair of jeans but the way these were styled on their website i just bought the whole outfit i just needed it all um these are the flare fit high-rise jeans what i like about these is that they go really long one of my favorite ways to make my legs look so much longer like i'm talking exponentially longer is to buy a pair that is high-waisted and then go super long you don't want them dragging on the floor but you want them to kind of kiss the floor you want your like heel or whatever shoe you're wearing i do need to wear a heel with these to kind of poke out and you can't really see it but that gives the illusion that your leg is so freaking long it's the best of ever i used to be like a ride or die light wash denim kind of girl like 99.9% .9 of my jeans are light wash um but there's just something about a darker wash that is so luxurious looking and looks more expensive in my opinion but they have to be the right dark wash they have to have like a little bit of fading on it it can't just be all one tone <sighs> i sound crazy 
I'm very passionate about my denim, if you couldn't tell, but these are great. There's some stretch to them. I got these in a the size, size 36, and I specifically got them to wear with a belt that I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. Okay, so these are the jeans. Even with a really high heel, they still go really long on me. You can see here, but I kind of folded these on one side to show you how they would look. So you can see that they are so incredibly flattering, like a mild boot cut, just absolutely perfect this is the length i would want them just so you can see like the tip of my toe pointing out i wouldn't want them like scraping on the floor or anything but as you can imagine this makes my legs look a million times longer than if they were cropped at my ankle the next thing I got is this little set in this gray material. This is a skirt with a vest. I like wearing these with knee-high boots. I am the biggest fan of knee-high boots ever. And then I like wearing it also with a longer coat on top. Okay, so this skirt is actually way too big. I paired it with this gray taupe kind of belt, which I think complements the outfit really well. I tried pairing it with black and I don't think it's the right move so I'm gonna have to work on it I don't think I have the exact right accessories for it um but I do really really like this I think with like an oversized blazer on top that would look really cute alrighty moving on to accessories I actually got two belts two of the exact same belts in two different colors so I got this red brown toned belt and this is the belt that i got to wear with this darker wash denim look how expensive that looks i love this combination and then i also got it in black so i like that this has kind of like a medium sized buckle nothing too crazy it's not going to be like the focal point of your outfit but it is substantial enough to add some detail in my opinion i don't feel like belts are something that you need to buy designer i feel like oftentimes designer monogram belts can also almost be a little bit distracting from your outfit and instead of elevating the outfit and adding that little piece that will catch your eye it will be the only thing that your eye will look at moving on to shoes my personal favorite part of the video i got two pairs of black kind of little pumps the first are these i just wore these over the weekend they're like these little kitten heels i don't know what's happening to me i'm becoming a whole different person i used to be like the higher the heel the better i don't care if it hurts now it's like um absolutely not i will not be in pain i would rather enjoy the night and not have my feet hurt than have to deal with excruciating pain in my feet i don't know what's happening to me anyways this is the perfect heel height for me a little kitten heel um a little mule gives you height still looks really cute i love the toe i wore them like i said on the weekend and they were so comfortable but i do want to pick up a more fall appropriate pair i love that it goes square here and then the heel is a good size it's not too high it's not too low it's perfect these are the shoes that i am so incredibly excited about i think you guys are going to love them as well i feel like shoes in the fall um are always what i get asked about the most because in summertime it's like easy you either pair like put on a pair of mules or you put on a pair of slides but in the fall it's like what do i wear especially when it's getting too cold for pumps these these okay so cowboy boots have been in they were so in last year i don't picture wearing these with like a mini skirt i picture wearing them with like a pair of jeans that come to like here and then all you see is this like pointy toe it has that little detail and when i say these feel so bougie so expensive so luxurious and then you have that like cowboy boot looking heel which if i'm being honest like i wish it was just a regular heel but you can't have everything in life you know you win some you lose some and i have been in my <laughs> country music era i'm going to see zach bryan in toronto and i could not be more excited so these are perfection perfection just picture like a pair of black trousers and this sexy toe sticking out no okay these are the boots with a pair of jeans i would even wear them with like longer jeans but i really wanted to be able to show you the boots these are abercrombie jeans i absolutely love them they're so comfortable and so flattering and then i just styled it with a little knit top which is really cool because it has a complete open back these boots are also incredibly comfy i just love all of the detail on them this would not be a fall zara haul if i didn't pick up some jackets 
some coats. I picked up two. I wanted to pick up about 10, but I really do not need any more. You guys know I have way too many jackets. I have too many coats. I don't know what to do with all of them. The first thing I picked up is this darker denim little jacket. I loved the wash of this, and then I also loved that it's cinched in. I feel like this is something my mom would have worn in the 90s, so I figured, not with this outfit, to just throw on with a super casual outfit. I love the color. This um, shade of denim, I feel like, pairs with brown perfectly. This is a jacket just over a brown one-piece little jumpsuit from Aritzia. I love how this color pairs specifically with brown and darker tones, and I feel like this would even be cute, worn kind of as like a Canadian tuxedo. You don't have to wear this just as a jacket. If you wanted to, you can kind of make like a Canadian tuxedo out of it, and I just paired it with a maxi skirt and dressed it up with some brown details, and then I paired it with these brown faux snakeskin little heels but if you didn't want to do the full double denim look you can totally throw it on with a pair of black dress pants or brown dress pants so in the springtime i picked up a brown leather coat from zara that i did not get to wear it was like moving into the the summer months but i picked it up knowing in the back of my mind that i was going to wear it a ton in the fall time so i cannot wait to wear it but i saw this black leather coat this distressed black leather coat and I knew that I just had to wear it. I personally love wearing these leather jackets on top of like really basic outfits. And you really make the jacket the star of the show. Alright, so this is a jacket with a very casual outfit underneath. Some black booties, a pair of jeans, and a little black top. One of the best things about a leather jacket is that it will dress up literally any outfit. So underneath, I literally I have a gym outfit on. Um, obviously, head to toe Lululemon. Could take this tag off. Literally, just by tying the jacket up. No one needs to know. I could have the cutest outfit on underneath, and no one needs to know. Alrighty you guys, so I think that's it for my Zara fall haul. I promise you it won't be the last one um, for the next few months. I, you, Like I said, fall is just my absolute favorite season ever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be picking anything up, what trends you're looking forward to wearing in the fall time. So don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. Start from now on, I promise. No more breaks from me. Um, and yeah, everything I mentioned will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye.